Hi friends, my name is Bhavya Mangla. I am IATF qualified auditor. I am doing audit for the automotive sector for the last 17 years. I am again back with a very very interesting topic. What is the key difference between internal laboratory and external laboratory? This particular video is specifically made for the people who are working in manufacturing. It could be production, it could be quality. It's quite relevant for them. And by the time they will go through this particular video, they will understand what is the meaning of laboratory, what is the meaning of laboratory scope, what are the key difference between internal and external laboratory, and what is this 17025 all about. So let me start first with what exactly is the meaning of a laboratory. So in any organization, there is bound to be some inspection, some testing, some calibration that is going to be there. So generally an organization set up their internal laboratory wherein they have certain equipments which are we call it as a master equipment or a test equipment wherein they do the all those testings and the calibrations. And many times when the organization does not have this facility internally maybe because of resources or maybe because of the quantum of work they generally outsource this particular thing to an external agency what they call as external laboratory. So to put it simple terms if something is being done internally it is called internal laboratory when something is being outside which is which is not in control of the organization that is called external laboratory then another important terminology that come is what is the meaning of laboratory scope when we talk about laboratory scope our intent is a document which talks about the list of different processes or different tests or measurements or calibrations that particular laboratory can conduct then secondly it talks about the procedure that how that needs to be conducted. Thirdly, what are the different standards that needs to be followed for doing the calibration, testing or measurement. And finally, what kind of competence that is being required for doing that particular thing. All those things are specifically in detail specified in that particular lab scope. Now to move further, what are the key differences between internal laboratory and external laboratory? So if I talk specifically as per IATO 16949, First, the key difference is that when we talk about internal laboratory, we are talking about that particular laboratory which is inside the boundary of the organization, wherein the, all the controls are with the organization. When we talk about external laboratory, our intent is that particular laboratory which has been outsourced and the organization does not have any control over it. Then when we talk about external laboratory, the requirement as per IATO 16949 is that it should be certified to ISO 17025. 2017 version which is the latest version but when we talk about internal laboratory first of all it's not a requirement and even if the organization goes for it's an optional thing that organization can think about going for that in case of uh, internal laboratory there is no certificate required but in case of external laboratory there should be a valid certificate of 17025 when we talk about external laboratory, one of the very important and key requirement is that that whatever certificate that they are issuing, maybe with respect to the testing, measurement or maybe calibration, there should be a logo of the accreditation body who has done that. If I talk about India, it is NABL. If I talk about USA, it could be NIST. So depending upon the country, there can be different kind of logos that should be a part of a certificate. But when we talk about internal laboratory, there is no such need to have any kind of logo. When we talk about external laboratory, there is no need for that uh, laboratory to demonstrate to the organization that whether they are competent or not because they have been certified for that. But internally, when we talk about internal laboratory, it's very important for the organization to ensure that the people who are working there, they are competent, they are qualified and regularly trainings are being given to them so that their competence is being enhanced from time to time. When we talk about external laboratory, there is no need to have uh, internal lab scope because that lab scope is being made which has been approved by the accreditation body. So already it is there but when we talk about internal laboratory, there is a specific requirement to have an internal lab scope and that internal lab scope should define different things regarding competence, procedure, how to conduct the work, what are the standards that needs to be followed. At times, there are specific requirements which are there with respect to the internal laboratory. But when we talk about external laboratory, the only specific requirement that is coming from the customer is that whenever you are getting anything tested or measuring or calibrated from external agency, that should be certified to ISO 17025. To talk 
about the clauses as per IIT of 16949. When we talk about internal laboratory, the clause number is 7.1.53.1. When we talk about external laboratory, the clause is 7.1.53.2. Now to talk about some of the key challenges that industries are facing with respect to the internal laboratory and external laboratory. The first thing is how often top management is involved in knowing whether the environmental conditions or the competence of people who are working in the laboratory is as per the guideline or not. Then secondly, a very, very important thing is that whatever internal calibration that is being done, how often those calibrations are genuine and they are being done as per the procedures. And thirdly, how often we have been taking care that when we are selecting an external agency, we also ensure that whether it is certified to 17025 and whether they have a valid lab scope which includes all those test equipments which are approved by that external body which we are using it with respect to some testing and calibration. So if I do a summary about everything when we talk about internal laboratory, we are talking about the laboratory which is inside the organization wherein there is some requirement with respect to competence, work environment and the procedure, how to do that particular thing. And there is no need for any specific certification. But when we talk about external laboratory, there is a requirement that it should be uh, certified as per 17025 2017 version, which is the latest version. All the reports that they are generated from them, there should be a logo with respect to the accreditation body. And thirdly, and the most important thing is that whatever testing they are being done, they should be as per the lab scope which has been approved by the accreditation body. My next video will be related to another interesting topic, the key difference between responsibility and authority. Regularly, I'm getting a lot of feedback from your side and they're helping me to understand your expectation. So please do continue that. And in case you want to understand about this particular video in more detail, so there is a link below. If you click that, you'll find a blog there and there you'll find this particular information in much more detail. And in case you are liking these kind of videos and the blogs, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and my website bhavimagla.com. Thank you.